Yo, what's going on guys? This is Mia Sin and welcome to my Gladiator Beast deck profile. So following the combo video that I uploaded yesterday, I wanted to make this deck profile... Uh, well, actually, it's funny because the reason why I actually did the Gladiator Beast videos was because of like a funny comment from like my friend Ruggles. So <laughs> he basically just meant it as a joke, like, oh, can you actually break Gladiator Beast? And I was like, you know what? I, I don't back off from any, uh, any um, challenge. So, you know, why not? <laughs> Let's just try to break Gladiator Beast and make this deck actually work. And I think I did it. I mean, in a way, I pretty much want to play it as a going second deck that breaks boards and then sets up boards instead of like a going first combo deck that just tries to draw the nuts. And if it doesn't draw the nuts, you can't do anything, you know what I'm saying? So, pretty much the way I'm playing this deck right now is I want to say the most viable in like a competitive environment but I still wouldn't recommend playing this deck for like a YCS event but this is definitely the kind of a, the, the kind of deck that I would bring to locals and regionals definitely so and also it's very fun uh, you you even get to play the cards that people don't really consider too much when they build Gladiator Beast such as the Link 2 Gladiator Beast Dragasses hey, am I even pronouncing it right anyways basically this card is only good and only viable going second, which is the reason why it's not really featured in combo videos on YouTube, but it can actually do a lot single-handedly and pretty much just do like 5 plus interruptions on its own. So just summoning 2 Gladiator Beast monsters, if you get a battle phase, is, is game, literally. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for the intro. And once again, before I start, I would like to please ask you guys if you could actually subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I up always upload combo videos, deck profiles, and test hands on every single deck that I can actually find. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check out my channel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just jump right into the deck profile. So of course I play 3 Rescue Rabbit because it's the one card starter, you know, it does everything on its own. It single-handedly makes, like, it, it just makes so much. It, it just does really a lot. Even going first, it does quite a lot because it makes, it's a one-card test panther. So it doesn't really require, like, anything else. So, you know, and also, even if you draw Rescue Rabbit plus, like, a Gladiator Beast Andal, you, there's, like, actually added value because one of the Gladiator Beast Andals that you summon off Rabbit is turned into a Link Spider and then you actually summon the other Andal. So, ironically, Gladiator Beast Andal, and I swear on my life I'm not joking, it's a vanilla monster, but it's shockingly probably one of the best Gladiator Beast, if not the best Gladiator Beast monster in the whole deck. Like, if this deck didn't have Andal, you wouldn't have Rescue Rabbit, so that would be, like, six less cards. Link Spider wouldn't be an option. So you would kind of rely on a really strong normal summon and we're not back in like 2009 where you can go with normal summon a gladiator beast, attack over your like marshmallow and then end of battle phase summon bestiari, pop a card and that's like, that's game ending. No, 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 <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't work like that anymore. So yeah, the old school just end of battle phase summon one monster and do nothing after is just forget it. You have to play this deck very aggressively, and Rescue Rabbit and, and like multiple copies of Endel was a great approach to that. You may also opt to play Unexpected Die. The only reason why I'm not playing it is because it it says if you control no monsters, summon a level four lower normal monster from your deck. But unfortunately, you might actually draw Unexpected Die off of the draw of a danger, and that's kind of the reason why I didn't want to go that go there because you know I might just draw like a useless extender. I have other really cool extenders you're gonna see soon enough, so. Yeah, but anyways, I'm playing, four, I'm playing four dangers. Pretty much the reason why I'm playing Bigfoot is because I kind of want to prepare myself for Dragoon format. Because Dragoon has 3,000 attack and Bigfoot has 3,000 attack. So if you just draw Bigfoot and going second, you have 15% chance. So that's one game out of seven. If you go on that one out of seven like uh, like ratio of drawing Bigfoot, then you already have an instant out to Dragoon because you reveal it and they are forced to negate Bigfoot, because if you don't get sniped on Bigfoot, you summon it, and you crash on Dragoon, which is very, very important. So, definitely do keep that in mind. Next up, of course, the obvious three dangers. I really don't want to bother explaining these. I mean, everyone should know why you play these three dangers. Basically, any deck that kind of lacks consistency or draw power, or the ability to special summon a monster, especially if your deck really needs two monsters to get going, you will always be forced to play these three dangers in your deck. It's literally not an option. It's kind it's honestly it's the same importance as Upstart Goblin. Your your deck you can't play a 40 card deck. You have to play a 39 or like a 36 card deck. Otherwise, 
you're just not gonna be able to play the game at all. And you know, l there are a lot of cards that you don't mind discarding. Like you can have level eight, like level five or higher, your Gladiator Beast in your grave, and that will allow you to like take full advantage of Darius and then make Tamer Editor very easily, and then you can revive it back with comeback. And that's pretty much the main win condition of the deck. It's just abusing the living pancake out of Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor because that card is nuts and literally every other fusion is like impossible to summon by its own summoning condition. You literally need to be special, like cheating special summoning off of Tamer because it's, it, it ignores the summoning conditions. But yeah, like, please don't tell me you're summoning Heraclinos by using Laquari and two Glad Beasts. Nah, you're not doing that. I mean, I don't even play Laquari, so that's how we like you know, that's not possible, and Dominatus or Dominatrix, <laughs> you need Vespasius and two Gladbeast, like, bro, like, no, <laughs> no, that's not gonna come up, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much my rant for the flaws of the deck, but honestly, I feel like I mitigate, mitigate them, mitigated them well enough, so yeah, three Augustus, honestly, I feel like this Gladiator Beast is very, very good, because it, it's the one Gladiator Beast that when it's, when it's special summoned, you can actually summon another Gladiator Beast monster. And since that monster that you just summoned off of Augustus was special off of an effect of Gladiator Beast, it doesn't have to be during the end of the battle phase, it actually does get it, it does get its effect. So honestly, if you have like multiple Augustus in your hand, it's randomly like quite good. Because it doesn't say you can you cannot like you can summon one glad beast from your hand except augustus so you can just go augustus 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 and it's uh, it's pretty darn good so yeah um i really like i really like this card a lot and of of course atorix it's the um, the best explanation for this card is that it's the kaleido chick of the deck except a little bit less good because it's not just you know an ignition effect on the field like normal summon Okay, you're doing nothing. Okay, uh, effect sent for cost. No, no. It has to, once again, be summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Tribus monster, which is the most annoying clause out there, because you're not always summoning them with the effect of a Gladiator Tribus monster. It's very easy to summon them off of the effect of a Gladiator Tribus card, such as Comeback and Rejection. These cards are quite good, but like, Rejection, it doesn't have any added value turn one. You have to be playing for like multiple turns for it to become good and it is a hard once per turn so that's the reason why i'm not playing multiple copies of rejection i'm very like ahead of my like ahead of this deck profile right now but that's the reason why you can only see one rejection same with like unite i mean united just sucks but yeah we're going to cover this later on but yeah to darius this card is very very good like even if it negates the effect of your the monster that you revive it's just a monster reborn so it's the one plus one of the deck because recycling a Gladiator Beast from your grave to your hand, I think that's like a quest's effect or something like that. It's just, it's not good enough for me. Like, you need to be reviving something. That's good, because then you can like extend into like rank 4s if you're playing them, or you can make Appaloosa, stuff like that. So I think Darius is very, very good. You don't need to play 3 though. But the combo, I believe, involves you playing 2. I think you need to play 2 for the combo. I'm not sure. You might be able to get around, like, get a, get away with it with just one. But two is just, you know, to be safe, because it's a good effect. And then Vespasius, it's kind of like a baby hand shop. It's the most, uh, it's the, like, the aggressive version of Noxious, if that's the name, yeah. So pretty much when, like, when your Gladiator Beast monster battles, it's not like when you just get, like, a declare, like, a direct attack or something. So basically, it's always during, like, your own turn when you're declaring an attack. You summon it, and then, uh, yeah, basically, like, I think all Gladiator Beast monster you control gain 500, and then at the end of the battle phase, the the you know the typical Gladiator Beast effect, shuffle it from the deck, and then summon a Gladiator Beast monster that isn't Vespasius. But one important thing with Vespasius is that it's a level five or higher Gladiator Beast monster. So once again, it does allow you to make Tamer Editor, which is very 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 important. So Atorix also sorry, it doesn't just copy the name and send for cost. It also copies the level. That's so. This is why these seven cards are the like are the ways like to make uh, the team editor, which is the win condition. So yeah, one bestiary. I mean, once again, we're not back in twenty like two thousand and nine. We're destroying was when speller trap was game. Um, you can literally go Darius, revive back like Andal, and then make tornado dragon. You see. This is just kind of showcasing how pathetic Bestiari is. Like, you literally would never want to summon this during the end of the battle phase. And also, it's a weak normal summon, so, you know. And we're not playing Icarus Attack or any, like, garbage, like, sketchy-ass card like that, so... 
No. Yeah, honestly, bestiary, I might even cut it. Like, it's not that good, so... Yeah. Uh, the test tiger, I swear on my life, this card sucks. It's so bad, because I actually read it wrong when I first started. I, I thought it was like, tribute this card, and then special summon a gladiator beast monster from your deck, and treat it as if it was, you know, summoned by the gladiator beast clause. But it's not that! You have to tribute it, and then also shuffle back a gladiator beast monster from your deck, like what? Like, that's basically a neck two, just to get a plus one, by special summoning a, a gladiator beast monster from your deck. But then, look, let's do the maths, okay? You're using Test Tiger, that's a minus one. Then you're using Gladiator Beast Monster from your field and going back into the deck, that's a minus two. Then you get a Gladiator Beast Monster from your deck on the field, that's... You're, then you're down from minus two to minus one. And then the Gladiator Beast Monster, unless it's Darius to bring back another Gladiator Beast Monster from your grave, it it stays a minus one. And it, even if it's Darius, it just goes to a break even. And then you have, like, a negated monster on the field. So even if you arrived, like tamer editor or like something really good it does nothing and then you have to link up that monster with like something else because if you link up darius first then the monster that you revive with darius also leaves the field or like shuffled back into the deck or something so very very bait i hate this tiger the only real reason why i'm playing it really is because it's a free special summon when you control a gladiator tribute monster and it's not once per turn and not gonna lie people probably don't know test tiger well enough to understand that it getting ashed is really not the end of the world because the, def the effect sucks. And also shuffling, shuffling back your Gladiator Tribute monster from your field into the deck is not a cost. Uh, just targeting it is like a part of the activation requirement. The real cost is tributing Test Tiger. So yeah. Overall not a good card. I'm very disappointed. Test Tiger is not what Gladiator Tribute really need in 2020. Test Panther however is very 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 good. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know what it does. Once again, if you don't know what Test Panther does, either read the card or look at my combo video. Everything's clear and the, the, the link for the combo video will be in the description box below. So don't worry about it. And then for the spells, I'm pretty sure I already explained them. And then Comeback is the disgusting card. So this card has a very similar effect to a really bad card called Cyber Ref System. However, unlike Cyber Ref System, this card actually revives good monsters. So it revives any Gladiator Beast monster from your hand, or, well, I mean, or really hand, whatever, you're not gonna do that. Or Grave, with a different type than the monster, blah blah blah, it can be destroyed by battle, card, like, Ref System is like by card effect, but it, Ref System only revives Cyber Dragons, and Infinity is not a Cyber Dragon in the Grave, so, you know, you're, you're bringing by the, like, the crappy main deck monsters or Seeger. Which is like, <laughs> I don't care. But uh, Comeback is like a searchable way to revive Tamer Editor. Because once again, Tamer Editor is not a hard once per turn. So if you revive it 26 billion times, then you just keep vomiting the fusions from your extra deck. And uh, yeah, you just kind of win. Because if you get to Appaloosa for 3 with Domin Dominatrix <laughs> and Heraclinos with like 20 billion cards in hand. Which, by the way, Heraclinos is also now once per turn. You can keep negating spells and traps as long as you have stuff to discard. You literally have like six, seven negates. So obviously, it's <laughs> if for that to happen, you have to like go second, go do the one card rescue rabbit play, and then just hope your opponent had like nothing at all, and hope that the five other cards in your hand can like be discarded. But hey, it can happen in theory. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, Comeback is just disgusting. You're obviously playing this a 3. World Legacy Succession is another card that's honestly very similar to, uh, to Comeback. So basically, you have a few cards that are like a thousand attack or less for El Mirage, like uh, Atorix. So basically, you can make Test Panther relatively easily. Or then, you know, when you're not doing the El Mirage play, then you make Test Panther like legitimately. And then you revive back like a Tamer Editor from your grave. So... That's also very important. Then we're also playing the real Monster Reborn, so... Seven Monster Reborns, three of them are searchable, and then we have, like, a once per turn special summon from your deck. It's pretty good, yeah. United is, like, the one card that I honestly don't really know what I'm... why I'm playing it. Like, I have no explanation behind it, I've just... casually just threw it in my deck. So yeah, best Tiari and United... Uh, you should consider playing something else instead, probably probably something in like my idea category, maybe Shade Brigandine if you want like more consistency, or if you, I mean, honestly, this is a going second deck, you should probably play Lightning Storms instead, so... You know, Lightning Storm, then I guess you might potentially cut Bigfoot while you're at it, since Bigfoot is kind of, I mean, 
thing is, if Dragoon comes into the TCG, which it will, like, starting from August or something with the Megatons, then you will need Bigfoot in a way, you know? But for now, it's, like, it's kind of whatever. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say, if the Nessie gets sniped, then you search Bigfoot. And so technically, you have a slightly higher percent chance that than just 15 to get access to the, to the Bigfoot, but yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, no, you should probably play Lightning Storm now that I think of it, so cut these two if you don't want to play them. If you really want to because you're nostalgic, then whatever. I mean, I'm no one to, like, stop you from doing whatever you want. But yeah, if you want to win, which is different, then uh, listen to listen to the words, uh, words of wisdom. Wise words of wisdom, Jesus. Worse? I said worse, huh? I'm really dumb. I actually, I forgot what I even said. I All I know is that I'm stupid. But yeah, anyways, uh, for the... Oh yeah, no, no, sorry. Gladiator Beast Proving Ground. Not even Gladiator Beast, just Gladiator Proving Ground. This card is not, a, not that good. But the thing is, like I already said, drawing like multiple Andals is shockingly quite good. So sometimes you just have like Andal with this and you're like, okay, let's do it. Or sometimes you just draw, draw like a search at Torix. You already have Augustus, so you go Augustus, I mean, at Torix, then send for cost and... Then you make Tamer Editor that way, so even if it searches level 4 lower Gladiator Beast, you know, Atorix can become level 8 or level 7 or whatever, so, you know. And you can also play Harbinger in the extra deck, by the way, since this is, this is like a fake level 8, and this is a real one, so... It's cute, I just feel like Tamer Editor is infinitely better. It's, you, don't, you don't need the gimmicks of Harbinger, and also Tamer Editor shuffles back your resources into the deck, which is very cool. That's, a, a, that's another, like, really cool bonus with the Gladiator Beast, that you... Shockingly, don't really run out of resources because they, they don't say like tribute for cost or banish this. Mo well, most of them, like Test Tiger, I guess, is an exception. But yeah, it's usually just shuffle those cards into the deck and then do something. So that's sweet. Then Dark Ruler No More, I'll be pretty, pretty sure I showcased this already. I didn't use it, but yeah, it's obvious. I mean, in a going second deck like Ladder Tree Beast, I feel like you kind of have to. And also, if you make um, Dragasses. The Dark Ruler No More is like disgusting because you're negating everything and then you're breaking the full board because you go um, Gizaris pop 2 and then Access Quote Talker pop 2 to 3 and yeah you basically just like not only negate everything but also break everything and that's just a 2 card combo. I mean yeah of course it's Rabbit and Dark Ruler or just Dark Ruler with like access to Dragasis but it's not it's not too bad whatever you know it's it's not the end of the world. That's it for the main deck. Now for the extra deck, we have the... I mean, I already explained this. Tamer Editor, whatever. You can play the 2 or 3, whatever. I don't think you need 3, honestly. Because, yeah, they just... Uh, they kind of just always loop themselves. So it's not the end of the world. Same thing with Gizaris. And also, Test Panther is also another card that just shuffles back into the deck. So I feel like you don't really need to play too many of everything. Test Panther, though, I really wanted to play too. Because, you know, you, you go into it, like, a lot... And if, you, it, the f if the first one gets interrupted, you always have the second one, because it has to be Link Summoned, not just Special Summoned. So even if you can revive it, you still want to Link Summon into it. And you only need one Gladiator to Beast Monster to make it. The other card can be like anything, so yeah. Then of course for the Rank 4s, I wanted to play the, like, the good ones going first and second. So I could also play Dweller, but the issue is that Dweller is not as great going second, whereas Tornado kind of always has value, and Exciton is obviously trash going first for obvious reasons, but going second it's completely broken, and it can single-handedly you like single-handedly win you a game, and this is why I had like Shade Brigandine in there. I mean, might as well play Time Thief if you're playing Time Thief or Doer if you're playing three shades. But yeah, we'll get into that later probably, or not even actually. We're not gonna go into that. But yeah, no, yeah, these are the, the best rank 4s I've discovered, I guess I, I can say, so yeah. Access Code, I showcased this already. Appaloosa, of course, Regasis, Phoenix, uh, Link Spider, blah blah blah. Everything here has been explained. Now for the ideas, Noxious is like a good card when you're like, when you have nothing going on. But it's very, very slow. You pretty much have to like, yeah, no, it's like an anime-esque card. No, I, I don't recommend it at all. If your playstyle is that slow, then you're probably doing a bunch of things wrong, so yeah. Dugaris is like a pretty cool one, so if you can revive a Tamer Editor from the grave, you can pretty much just turn two level 4s into like... a lot? Yeah? Like one, like at least one extra negate. Because you revive back the Tamer, then you summon back another fusion from your extra deck, and then you use Dugaris, Tamer, and Test Panther for Appaloosa for 3, and you probably had like another fusion before that you summoned off Tamer. So, 
Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I like Dugaris, honestly, as an idea, and also being able to double the attack of a monster, like a Dominatrix, like a make it level, uh, uh, sorry, 7,000 7, attack. That, that could be pretty nice. And Utopia Double, I know a lot of people played it, but like, uh, I, I hate that package. I think it sucks. It, it literally no, it never comes up, unless you're playing like, yeah, no, it, it doesn't come up. I mean, I draw the brick more often than I successfully resolve this, so it's pretty pathetic. Unicorn, meh, whatever, I don't think it's good. Uh, Cloth Thief, I know I showcased it in one of my combos, but didn't really do too much, honestly. You don't really need it. Uh, yeah, you don't need it. <laughs> Unexpected, I already explained this. Lightning Storm should be in the main deck. Uh, Pot of Indulgence is not good if you're playing Dangers. Uh, Glider Piece United should not be in the idea section. The card sucks. Shop Trick, I have no idea why the card is here. And I already explained Shade Brigandine, so that's it for the deck profile. Thank you guys very much for watching, and if you have any questions, make sure to leave them Leave them in the comment section below so I can try my best to answer every single one of them. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Yasin is signing out. Peace!